Hello YouTube, welcome to another edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so that you know when I put new videos out. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you back. Just make sure that you are still subscribed and that you are still getting those notifications because YouTube is unsubscribing people from the channels that we like again. So just make sure that you are still getting those notifications. So today I actually went to the grocery store. I have not been to the grocery store in... A while um I went the the first of the week I had the or the first of the month I had a a small Kroger haul and that's the last that I've gotten any groceries so I'm doing really well with the the fridge and pantry clean out and no spend January I've I've really been been doing quite well with that. I've worked my way through a lot of things. I did get things from the food pantry, which helped keep me out of the grocery stores. But man, I was so shocked when I went into Winn-Dixie today. I was just absolutely floored. I knew I was slow on pasta, so I went specifically for that. I figured... I would fare better finding the kinds of pasta that I wanted at Winn-Dixie versus Dollar Tree. But you guys, I was absolutely stunned at how much the pasta section had shrunk. They had almost nothing. I will put a video in showing you the the store shelves the pasta section the water was almost completely wiped out they didn't have hardly any water they just just had they had some spring water that they spread out through the entire water aisle they didn't have any so i was really shocked at that i was doubly shocked at how much the price of eggs has went up in the last two weeks oh my word eighteen dollars for a tray of small eggs i i just could not believe it i was absolutely floored as as i thought holy cow you have got to be freaking kidding me and the the egg section itself was very small what was even more shocking was the the organic brown eggs was cheaper than the small white eggs i i could not believe how much cheaper the organic brown eggs were i, I was just absolutely stunned and when you see the the what I came home with is almost nothing. So I I would be really hurting without my food pantry right now. I am so thankful for them. So I just don't know what I would do without them. But I know I'm not the only one in that boat. So let me get you into the kitchen and let me show you my little tiny grocery haul. All right, guys, this is it. This is all that I got in this little, well, let, let me go over everything first and then I'll tell you the total. I got, did get two of these. They were buy one, get one free. So I got two of those. I got a thing of half and half. 
these um, freezer bags were buy one, get one. I got some soy sauce because I was out of that. And some uh, what's-his-face sauce because I was almost out of that. And I got some orange marmalade. There's a recipe coming up. I want to show you guys how to do using the orange marmalade. I got some buns. And for the $5 pantry challenge, I got some great northern beans. And some... Red kidney beans. I saw a video the other night on how to pressure can beans so that if you have stomach issues like like I do, you can fix them and not not have them bother you so much. So I'm I'm excited for that. So I'm I'm gonna give that a try. Then I got a little bag of. Uh, split peas. I actually ate all of my split pea and ham soup when I was sick last week. I have some ham in the freezer, so I'm going to be canning up some more split pea and ham soup. I got a bag of egg noodles, which I'm out of. And I got two boxes of the elbow macaroni because I didn't have any of that so that is my little tiny grocery haul I've it's been two weeks since I've been to the grocery store y'all this little bit cost me thirty eight dollars I am not kidding about that the the beans the peas and the, the pasta is all for the uh, $5 pantry stock up challenge with Sassy Gal Prepping. So that is going in my pantry to use at a later date. Um, and yep, that, that, was, that was it. That's all I got. Okay, here is the water aisle. They do have the packs with the bottles in. But look at where they usually have the gallon jugs of water. There is absolutely none. There's a couple jugs down there at the bottom that was fronted. But back behind those jugs was nothing. That was it. And here's the pasta aisle. It looks like it's really big, but uh, it was not anything like what it used to be. Very small and condensed. And here is the eggs. And the, you can see the organic brown eggs was almost the same price as the regular eggs as crazy i just could not believe those prices who who would have thought we would pay over ten dollars for 18 eggs that is just absolutely crazy and never in my wildest dreams did i think that egg prices would be this much absolutely ridiculous oh that was it I warned you that I didn't get very much for the amount of money that I spent so I was very disappointed in the pasta selection and I I knew the price of eggs were going up everywhere so that 
didn't surprise me too much. I was horribly surprised about the water. That really shocked me. And, yeah, I'm just really glad that I don't have to keep going into the grocery store all the time. Grocery shopping used to be one of the few happy places that I had, but, you know, it's, it's not so happy anymore. I don't enjoy it like I did, and I, I just have absolutely no enjoyment grocery shopping anymore and in fact I'm usually very grateful by the time I get home that I'm back home and don't have to go in the stores so yeah things are are getting really rough out there so uh make sure to go to sassy gal prepping Check out the other channels who are taking part in the Friday Five Challenge or stocking our pantries for $5 a week. Doesn't buy a whole lot. You saw the little bit that I have, but you know that, that those little bits each week are starting to add up to a lot. So it does add up fast. So make sure to go to Sassy Gale Prepping. I will leave the link down below in the description box let her know that i sent you check out all the other great channels that's taking part in in the this fun challenge so there there's a lot of us doing it so i i hope you go check the other channels out and that concludes this edition of Lori's thrifty kitchen pantry thank you so much for being here today. This was just a, a quick video for the Friday Five Challenge. And I will be doing some more cooking videos. I'm actually going to make my own instant rice. So I will bring you guys along to show you how I do that. I am going to be doing some orange chicken using the orange marmalade. I'm excited for that. I love orange chicken, but the last time I went out and ordered it, it was terribly expensive and it just wasn't as good anymore. So I'm going to make my own. So I will show you how to do that. I will bring you along when I do my split pea and ham soup for the, for the canner. It, it turned out so good. And we will experiment together with those beans and see if the way I, I found really does help or not. So I love beans, but if you're like me and have digestive issues, beans can be pretty lethal. I love them, but I, I can't eat them. So I'm excited to try this way of fixing them and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I can actually eat them without having them make me sick. So I will bring you along for that. And we, we just have some really fun things together. Uh, don't forget Tuesday, January 17th at 7 p.m. on our live show will be special guest Alaska Prepper. So I hope that you all come to the live show next week and just wel welcome him to our, our weekly chat. I hope you are all, all having a great week. Be happy, be safe, be blessed. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.